Hi friends, I am Dr. Zainab Vora and I am Dr. Praveen Tripathi. So very exciting news, uh, we are launching Conceptual Psychiatry, uh, the pre-booking has already started and the app launches on 1st of March, so congratulations sir. Thank you. So if you can just tell us what your vision is for the app. Right. So Dr. Zainab, in the conceptual series, like conceptual radiology was launched a couple of weeks back, we have conceptual ortho, conceptual surgery. So the idea is quite similar. Basically, we are trying to say that in the residency programs across the country, there are places where the training is very nice and there are places where the training is not up to the mark. So we want to create a level playing field for everybody, yeah. whether, whether you are going to the premier institutes of the country or whether you're going to a smaller place, you should get the equal opportunity to learn. And uh, on that basis, only all the conceptual apps have been launched. And now we are starting with conceptual psychiatry. So there are two things uh, for all the clinical subjects. We want to ensure that your uh, theoretical knowledge is up to the mark. Whatever you need to know, you know about it. At the same time, all of us want that uh, your clinical skills and the practice that you are going to do, your MD or MS, uh, you should be skilled enough to you know practice evidence-based medicine. So these are the two main aims, yeah. theoretical knowledge and clinical skills. Yes, sir. So with all conceptuals, I think uh, the audience predominantly gets divided into two. Mm-hmm. One are residents in training, mm-hmm. you know, who, who want to learn, who have just come freshly out of neat PG and who want to learn the basics. Mm-hmm. So this works really well for them. It gives you something to do every day, you know. So what we did with CR also was that you see one video every day, you know, not more. As a resident, you don't get so much time that, you know, you can study like you did for neat pg right. so you just show up and you do something daily right. and and for the exam going residents mm-hmm. i think it becomes a really nice place to bring everything together so so what is your plan uh, for for both groups of students so uh, dr zainab uh, we decided that uh, it will take at least two months for us yeah. before yeah. we can put out good content yes see putting content is one thing yeah. putting content that we like and we know is good is another thing yeah. So this is what we announced that in the next two months, we would be putting the content. And after that, as we move towards examination, we'll have more live sessions. And in those live sessions, how to write an answer. Yeah. And not only that, how to appear for your examination, the practical yes. exam, how to handle your long cases, how to handle your short cases, all those things would be brought in. So, but these things are going to happen, you know, in a stepwise fashion, notes, we are working on the notes, we want to create good notes. And uh, we were just having this discussion before the recording that Teaching for residency is a different you know, game altogether. Yeah. Uh, when we when we teach to uh, UG students for entrance examination, it's very simple. Yeah. I mean, we have been doing it for so many years, it's very easy. But when you are teaching PG, first of all, you have to work very hard. And secondly, the stakes are higher, right? Somebody is learning from you and that is going to you know create the base on which the yeah. practice depends. It has to be really good. So the stakes are higher for us also and it takes a lot of effort, but at the same time, we really enjoy it. Because, you know, going back deep into the academics is something all of us love. Yeah. And, and I think one thing is clear that whatever it is that you will do or, or you know, any of us will do, it will not be suboptimal. That yeah. is one thing you can be rest assured of that whatever is coming your way, it might be in a stepwise manner, which may be, you know, staggered over a period of time, but it's always going to be great content. And, and with Sir, I mean, I think there is no doubt about that. And and he just posted a picture at 3 a.m. of how he's <laughs> going back to the textbooks and, and reading about the updates. And, and that just shows the kind of effort that's going into this. Another thing is, ma'am, uh, we discussed this, that uh, if you want to make a good content uh, for residents, I think it's not a one person job. Yes. We need to get people who are you know practicing in different sub segments. Like yes. in my case, somebody who's doing addiction psychiatry is very different from somebody who's doing child psychiatry. Yeah. So so that is being done in all the apps, conceptual radio, conceptual psychiatry, conceptual auto everywhere. So that is another thing that we are doing. We are bringing the people who are specialists of those sub segments. Yeah. So, so yeah, sir will curate the content, but you know, you are obviously not going to teach everything and that's for the best for, for the residents that you get to learn from the specialists and same goes for all conceptual apps. So, so great, sir, looking forward to it and I'm sure you are very excited and so are the residents who are going to be joining this. So great chance for all of you. So get your hands on the pre-booking now so that you get to enroll at a lesser price and, and uh, become a part of it before the launch. Right. See you all in the app uh, on 1st of March. We are launching on 1st of March.